All right, this is going to be part one of modeling our version of the Uncharted 4 speedboat. And uh, this is going to take us a little while because uh, while it's not overly complicated, uh, it's difficult to see all of the parts and to try and come up with uh, a way to do this that isn't, uh, it's not going to take us too long. It's not going to be too onerous. All right, so like I say, we're going to make our own version of this thing and it's going to differ uh, somewhat but we'll just uh, we'll just do what we can all right so i have a few reference images from the game and we're going to get started here so i've got the default cube there and this is my side view here so i'm going to go into edit mode and i'm going to scale this in the y and we'll probably be scaling it a few times to get the uh, the size that we want so i'm just scaling it in the y i'm scaling the x as well and just sort of imagine I'm, I'm looking down from the top of it and it is rather long as you can see here all right so let's start with something like that and i think right off the bat i'm going to drop an edge loop down there eh, actually i think i'm going to take this and just make it a little bit more of a square so we're going to have that and um I'm going to look on the side, actually, and I'm going to throw in a few edge loops here, something like that. And we'll get rid of this side here, and we'll put on a mirror. And that'll make it a little easier for us. I'll turn on clipping as well. All right, so I'm going to look from the front, and I'm going to select that vertex there. Let's try this and let's switch to proportional editing. We can just leave it there. Start pulling this in and rolling up like this. We're gonna get it. I want to go for a shape something like that. Let's look in solid view for this thing. Okay, so with that done, we are going to now look at uh, from the side. I'm going to, ah, we, we can just in, in yeah, let, let, let's just do this and roll that up. We could try that and see if we like that. Or we could try, I'll try sharp and do that. And I think I'm going to like that to do something like that. And I may, now we'll look at the front in a bit. Okay, we're starting to get the shape that we want. It's dipped in right now, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. All right, still looking from the side now. Hmm. I'm gonna leave the back actually straight. Let's put some edge loops in here like that. And do I want those straighter? Let me just think, scale Y zero. I'll turn that off. Scale Y zero. Scale Y zero. I'm not sure. I think maybe it'll just be cleaner if I do that. And we'll do that. Could have done that from the outset. I think I'm just going to grab these front ones here. Not that. Let's try bringing that in. Okay, and then we're going to grab uh, these ones here. We'll bring those in. A little bit less. Just try to get that in going in like that. Let's take these here. Let's uh, turn that off. SSX0. And let's bring them in a little bit more. Let's get rid of that. get rid of those and I'll take this here and I'm going to put on a mirror with clipping I'm going to press E to extrude and drag those in and uh, let's do uh, E to extrude and drag those in let's see how that's looking let's uh, put on a subdivision and have a look at that okay and I'm going to now select the back part and I'm going to press E to extrude and drag that in and what I may need to do, I'm going to um, I'm going to apply the beer 
come in here and merge by distance. Now we'll have gotten rid of a few. Let's bring that up and shade smooth. And I may consider taking these and pulling them back a little bit. And that's roughly the shape that I want to go for. At this point, I could start tweaking this uh, a little bit to get a little bit more of the shape that I might want. Uh, and I may do some of that a little bit later. But for the moment, that's what we've got. Now, I think that's too short. And so what I think I'm going to do is uh, come in here and just pull the whole thing down like that. I could drop in another edge loop if I want to have it all along. So that's my basic boat. And I probably will lengthen it out and maybe even widen it. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give some thickness to this hull. Um, I don't want things poking out and it's just like one poly thick. So I am going to put some thickness and it will, you know, use some polys. It's not going to be low poly. But that's that's okay. I'm going to add solidify. I'm going to bring it above, and I'm even going to shut that off for the moment, and have a look at this here. So I want to come in something like that. So I got something I can use, and I'm going to apply that. So this is what I've got. Pull that back on for the moment. I should take it off. And what I want to do is I want to create um, a lip on this. There's going to be a couple of parts. I'm going to shift alt and click all the way around there. And I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, am I going to duplicate it? No, I'm not. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude up a little bit. And then I'm going to, in face selection, shift alt and click there. I'm going to press E and Alt S and I'm going to push and have it come out. And we'll put this back on. I know these are going to be rounded like a bathtub. Just want to start looking at that. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, first of all, I'm going to sharpen this up just with an edge loop up and an edge loop down. We'll leave it like that for now. What I will be doing is coming in here and selecting that and using mean crease on those I think but I wanted that part sticking out and then I'm going to come back in let's get rid of that for the moment and I'm going to take let's say that and shift D to duplicate I'm going to pull it up out of the way P to break it out so I've got that piece and I'm going to extrude it down a ways like something like that and then I'm going to shift alt to click these faces and I'm going to press uh, now I can just alt s actually and I'll pull it out and we'll have to adjust this I'm going to select these ones and alt s and I'm going to pull so I get a bigger piece here let's just start pulling that down on top and I'll have to adjust uh, and you'll see this and stuff so let's go ahead and put on subdivision here and subdivision here Okay, and I'm going to come in and put some edge loops there and here on the inside, on the on, and on the outside. And take this whole thing. I'm going to try just scale and see if I can get it a little bit more. I'm going to Control Seven to look from the bottom and just have a look at how well this follows. I think what I'll do is I'll grab down here pull out a little bit I just want it you know kind of even all around and it's not bad maybe we'll take the whole front and pull it forwards a little bit like kind of like that all right so let's let's uh let's I'm not quite done with that but let's have a look back here at shift alt and click there shift alt and click there let's shift e and pull to sort of straighten that out a bit and we can also add an edge loop here I really should probably just focus on on that part and okay so that one goes there and if I do one there then I get in the front so that's probably gonna be okay all right so let's bring that back 
and let's just work on on this as well I'll, I'll bring an edge loop down here on this one and here and um, I'm going to select this back vertice or vertices and just straighten it out a little bit so there's, there's going to be tweaking like that that we'll have to do and I'll bring an edge loop here and here and just see how this is fitting now I would like them to be closer to each other and so this is going to take a little bit of work here um, let's see yeah I like the distance that this one is coming out I, actually maybe I'm just going to scale this a little bit smaller and see how well I can get it to kind of fit now this one this one I need to okay let's see yeah I am going to want to tweak this a bit more a little bit straighter and I'm kind of wanting this one to come out but I think this one has to go back a little bit just because you know you can see the distance I'm going to be changing this but the distance that this is overhanging this versus the back so let's let's just uh, have another look at that and I may have brought this in a little bit too much again like I say like tweaking and stuff for a bit uh, let's do this go to solid view and just watch as we pull it back so it just overhangs and doesn't have to overhang quite as much because we'll have the engines there all right so can I can I do this um, shift alt to click control plus how many times two let's say and what if I alt s that this to come out we're getting closer whatever we do should hopefully look okay let's take that and pull that one down a little bit sharper and let's see what I can do about this uh, curvature here am I seeing a curvature or not All right, I'm almost where I want to be. I'm almost where I want to be on this thing. I could probably live with that. I do think it's not long enough yet. We're going to get to that in a moment. So 3D cursor is right there. Let's move on and uh, let's bring in a plane and bring it up. Look down from the top, scale it like this. I'm going to pull this forward to just pass the nose and I'm going to scale those in like that. I'm going to pull them back. And I'm actually going to take this piece and pull it up until it's resting underneath and not poking through. So I've got that. And I'm going to press E to extrude, come out a bit further. E to extrude, come out a bit further. And I'm starting to get that front deck part. And maybe I'll pull it down just a little bit like that. And let's have another look at the reference now. So we've got this part here. We don't have this sort of blackish trim in there. I'm not, maybe I'm not going to do that. We'll see, but we've got this basically and, we've, and we're building this. 
and we need to come back to just sort of under there um, so let's do this let's take this and let's extrude again like that and I'm going to be blocking out the cabin in a moment but the first thing I'm going to do is let's come in here and just just drag it from here I don't think it's really going to matter and let's lengthen it out no, I didn't get it all Let's just drag it back to about there. I'll drop another edge in just for, for support. Okay, that's still probably not, maybe not long enough, but we'll see. And um, I'm just wondering if it's deep enough or if I need to scale in and do something like that. It's fine if I do that. Okay, so what we're saying is, let's grab this edge and shift D to duplicate it, pull it out, P to break it out. And let's take this edge and just build a, a pretend cabin for the moment. Let's do that. And let's just extrude back like that. And we'll get rid of that back piece and this piece there. And then we'll take this edge here, which is that all the whole thing? Yeah. And it's gonna pull it down kind of to the to the floor there. We'll put another floor in, in a moment. I'm gonna scale this in the axe just a little bit just to have it fit. And if you want, we could even just just for now we could do uh, we could pull that back. And just imagine that's there and it's not it wouldn't be long enough. But let's start blocking it out and getting some sense of this thing here. Um, and let's make sure that everybody is facing the right way for now. Now, uh, I'm looking at this, this cabin part, which is on top of uh, this piece here, which, which we're going to deal with in a second. So we'll go ahead and we'll make this and, and we'll see how close we are to what we want to do. And so what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to start creating that other piece. All right. So I think I'll do this by, let's bring in another plane. Right here at the back. This is what I figured out. I'm going to scale that like that, scale in the X. So it's kind of snug against the wall. And the only thing is we kind of need to know roughly the size of our cabin. So before I continue with that, Let's take this and let's, yeah, I want that other piece there. That's about where I want it. I'm gonna make that a little bit longer and I will end up making the whole ship longer in a bit. Uh, I should probably do that now, actually. If I take all of those, here we go again, in wireframe, just grab it here, pull it back some more. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. All right. At any rate, here's what, what I figured. We are going to come up to about the cabin from the side. And then we're going to, we can come up straight actually to do this. And then we're going to come over here. Okay, and we want a little distance in front. Like that. And then let's bring it forward a little bit more and just scale it. And that's kind of how ours is going to be. And it's going to be about that height. We'll see. Okay, what I want to do next is I want to bevel, I think this one, Control B. Yeah, I'm going to pull, and I don't want it to overlap, so I'm going to make sure I press C, and just roll this up like this, because there is this cutaway piece here, and that's what I'm going for right there. So just throw in some edge loops. Now take that and press M, merge by distance, and that's the piece we're going to be using. 
and yeah, we'll go for that. I'm just gonna pull it up. I'm gonna take this now and give it some thickness. E to extrude, and pull down, and I'm gonna scale Z zero. So we have that. I can get rid of the bottom face, doesn't really matter. So I have this piece, and it's gonna be kind of like that. And I'm gonna to wanna to cut out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna round these edges here. And I'm gonna go for five. So that sort of fits in there. And I'm not gonna round any of these at this point. Uh, I'll come back to that. And I may actually think to myself, no, I'll go with that for now. Okay. I'm going to select this face here and I'm going to duplicate it. Shift D to duplicate, pull it up, scale it in a little bit. I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to get a sense of how thick I want this to be. Something like this. Okay. So as you can see, it's rounded here because I copied it from here. So that's, that's good. And I'm going to take this and this is going to come up to sort of the front of the cabin area. So let's take this and break it out. There we go. So, and then there's gonna be stuff over there that's gonna cover it up. And this is possibly gonna be rounded as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna extrude down, Alt and recalculate outside, and push it in. I'm gonna use this to, to, as a boolean so I need it up there so it may not have come down far enough so I'm going to take that bottom and just push it down really far and we can focus let's hide that this is what I'm where I'm getting at I don't need to really round this this part won't be visible and then we'll touch this up in a bit so I just want to look at the kind of the width of this thing here all right let's give that a try let's take this piece and add a boolean the on difference select that and apply and get rid of that and let's just have a look at this piece itself slash key to focus on this so this is what i have here rounded rounded okay and we've got this going on now what if we were to just to make this look a little better Take this and pull that out. Let's let's bring everything back. So we're gonna get that a bit of that slope, and maybe we can round these. Let's get rid of this edge. Dissolve that edge. Take these. A bit of a weird topology, but it should be okay. And do a bit of rounding like that. Maybe these ones like that. And let's see if we shade smooth this. Let's see if a bevel will work on this at all. Yeah, it, it does. I may get rid of some of that there. Let's bring the bevel up and let's also try way to normal auto smooth. I may have to, to do some work on this. Okay. What I really want to try and do is bevel this manually. So I'm going to hide that and hide that for the moment. And it's not actually that bad. Let's see, have a look at this. You know, it's a bit sharp, but it's not that bad. Now, can I bevel this a little bit? I'm going to run into trouble here with this. Uh, I don't think this is going to want to bevel. I just, just out of curiosity, how that. Now, I think if I come around here all the way, I think it's too abrupt. I'm not going to be able to bevel it very much. Uh, where am I on the outside, right? On the outside of everything. It's just, uh, I can fix this topology up. That's not too bad. Not too good either. Um, okay, what if I was to get rid of these? Just all around, just say, what the hell? We've got a lot of end gods. Let's do that. OK, 
Okay, let's take this. I'll just, let's try the bevel again, just for the heck of it, and that. Hmm. It's not bad, but I I always like um, I always like my own bevels, except it's not going to work very well right here. Um, let's turn that off again and have another look at uh, at this. And uh, I just want to th think about this area here. Well, it's not gonna bevel there, but how bad will that interfere with the rest? Yeah, won't let me do it, eh? There's no side. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select all of this. And I'm now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to pull down and I'm going to scale Z zero. And I'm going to switch over to edge or vertex, doesn't really matter. I'm going to pull that up and try to snap it to the other side. So we have two sides now. And I'm going to select these edges here, and I'm going to dissolve those, and I'm going to select these edges over here and dissolve those. Okay, I'm going to test my bevel. And I am not minding that slash key or alt H to bring stuff back. Scale it in a little bit. And just imagine that that's there. So I still have this. This is a little bit, well, we can bring this down a little bit like that. And that's what I get. Okay, that's the shape I came up with anyhow. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, I feel like it needs to go back further. Uh, let me just experiment with bringing that back like that, and then taking the rest of the boat and doing what I did before. Let's just maybe grab that much and pulling it back. I kind of feel like it's not wide enough now, though. Let's try just scaling in the X a bit. Making a bit more hefty. Don't change anything adversely? Not really. I think, I think that's a little bit better. And let's pull you up a bit. Yeah, you know. Okay. Let's do this. So I got this. Uh, we need to extend this. I'm going to give it uh, one more. So it's well under there. Okay. Let's get a floor in there. In fact, what have I got? That. Let's just shift. Let's no, not do that. Shift D to duplicate. Pull that out. P to break it out, just because it's the approximate uh, width that I would need. Let's, uh, in fact, I might need it a bit wider. Let's make sure that it goes into the wall for sure. And bring it down to somewhere down there. And yeah, I guess we're gonna extrude it. And that's what I meant by it poking through the walls. Let's try something like that. And let's, let's pull that up to about there. I think I could probably come up a little bit to 
is sort of have a floor in there. I will do something with this in a minute. Uh, all right, let's let's start looking at this. Okay, that's just the inside of that. Okay, so everybody's okay. All right, good. Um, so here, the thing is, um, I'm not sure I can show you on this. Well, you can sort of see it. See this white piece here? It's kind of like the inside piece is there and the outside piece comes down further. I'm not sure I want to do that, but what, I, what, it, what it is is like here, if I grab this edge here and I pull that up and I might, don't worry about here, that'll be covered. And then this edge of the same thing is the one that goes down. And I, I do need to bring that down anyhow. It's just, uh, you can't really see that. I wonder if, uh, if I put the shadow on, no. Okay, that's helping a little bit just so you can see it. Um, let's, let's just actually go to a sculpting one. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to want to do it that way. Versus having this. But let's just focus on that. There, let's do this. You see, you can see what I've, I've got. Versus just having this down, uh, down to there. And, and, you know, I kind of think I'm going to do that. And I may do a few things along the wall. So there's that. Okay. So we've got that cut. And we've got all those things. And that's going good, I think, for the basic shape of the boat so far. Now, I, I want to throw in a couple of things. At the back, there's a little bit of uh, furniture type stuff. And what I'll do is uh, let's just get used to taking a piece of something like that. Shift D to duplicate, P to break it out. Let's take off, um, let's take off everything for now. And I'm going to scale this in. It's like a little seating area. Let's just get a few things in that'll help us with the overall uh, size of this. Um, let's go with something like that. Let's extrude out like that. I think I am gonna want the bevel, but let's uh, extrude down. There's like a cushion type thing. Let's flip that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a duplicate of that bring it down to about there let's break it out and uh, go into this one and uh, pull this one down to the ground uh, I can get rid of that I guess I'll, I'll do that um, I'm going to bevel this by hand okay I'll take the, that edge and that edge we'll do all the edges we'll do them um, yeah, okay, we can just do it like this. Let's just bevel that. I, I maybe I'm gonna go for five. And I'm gonna do this one, and I might do more because it's like the seat. Um I just wanna yeah, okay. I'll do a nice big bevel there and uh not quite as much there. And then just this thing here. This is whatever. Okay, that's far too many edges, but Okay, so we got this thing here. And then beside it um, are other little canister-like things. So I'm gonna take that one here, shift D to duplicate, pull it out like this. And I think these are gonna be, I'm gonna make them shorter. They may be longer or taller, I'll find out. I'm gonna take that and pull it into here. I'm gonna take this whole thing and break it out. and then take uh, the bottom here and control plus a couple of times just to get to the top of that ridiculous amount of bevel. Pull that down and, okay, I'll get rid of those faces just to make it up to us. Um, shifty, there's another one over here on this side. And they kind of seem to kind of push into there. And this one I'll, t I'll take as well and I'll just, just move it back. I just wanted to have something in there. So that stuff is there. And actually, I think uh, it's possible that this is lower. Let me just take it and just pull it down. 
and C. Yeah, I think it's like more like that. I'm actually just gonna do that for now. So let's say we had that in there. And let's do some little uh, attachments for the rope around here. And then we'll leave it at that for now because we have a, we have a, we got a lot done, but we have a lot of work to do on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select maybe this edge and shift S cursor to select this. Bring my 3D cursor there. And I'm gonna bring in a plane. I think I'll do it like this with a plane. And scale it in the Y a bit. And I'm going to take these edges and shift control B to bevel and I'm gonna pull and if they overlap, I'm gonna press C for clamping. If I press, uh, let me get those again. Uh, shift control B. If I press C now and clamping's off, see the way they overlap? I'm gonna press C and do that. And actually, I don't think I want perfectly round. I'm gonna go like that. Okay. I'm gonna extrude up a little bit. I'm going to I to inset to pull in like this, and then I'm gonna convert that to a circle using loop tools. Look down from the top, and it's like a spirograph all twisted around. So I'm just gonna press rotate and just kind of straighten it out a bit, and then S to scale. Oh shit, it matters that much, but it just looks better. All right, I'm going to extrude up like that. Uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna E and S. I'm gonna come out and up. And we're gonna have this, and uh, let's see. We are going to select those edges and we're gonna bevel them down quite a bit. Let's see what's happening there. And are they hitting that? That's that's fine like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I could do the trick. I just feel like it's a bit wide. So I think I'll shift alt and click there and control plus until we get to about there. Scale shift Z and that's gonna change the post, but I kind of like it like that. And I'm going to bevel down here, but just with three. I'm just going a little nuts with the polys here. I'm gonna grab that and bevel that as well. I can shade smooth. And I'm actually gonna try a subdivision. And I don't know that it's actually worth it. No, I don't think we need it. Let's take that Alt N, recalculate outside. Okay, so we'll have something like that. That might be a little bit big or a little bulky, this thing, but I think it's okay. So let's, uh, sh uh, what, shift C to bring the 3D cursor pretty much back to the middle. Let's take that and set the origin to the 3D cursor and mirror that and just look at it and say, all right, maybe that could do the job. And we got something funny going on here. Do I need another edge loop up there? Maybe I did. All right, so I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these, but I'm going to just do it. I'm gonna shift D to duplicate and put a couple there. Shift D, and I'm gonna put a put couple down there. They don't have to be exactly equal. So we got those things, whoops, there to tie the ropes. And the way I'd probably do the ropes would be, uh, for lack of a better way, um, maybe I would select there and then let's see, can I come into those? Can I box select those and control L to select them all and shift S cursor to selected. And then I'm just gonna bring in a curved path and I'm gonna rotate the Z uh, 90. And I'll scale until it pretty much touches. And you know, like that. Well, you can do it different ways. I'm gonna go ahead and give this some thickness right now. Some of this is blocking in and some of it I will keep. And then let's uh, say it goes, let's say if we grab these, I'm gonna need another point. You know what, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna subdivide here. Where's my subdivide? There it is. And I'm gonna subdivide there and I'm gonna grab these and pull them down and out a little bit. And then I'm gonna just take that one and just pull it down a little bit more. And uh, you know something like something like that. I can get the exact position uh, later or or now. I don't know. Maybe up a little bit. All right. Anyhow, 
Uh, and then what I would do here is I would uh, duplicate this, have it touch here, and take this and just pull it in, and maybe we'll just make it a little bit different. Uh, let's pull that down along there, and there. You know, just something. All right, you play with this as much as you want. Um, it always takes me forever to do this, these kind of things. Uh, that's not right yet. All right, let's say... Uh, Let's say we were going for something like that. Uh, I'm going to uh, join those together. And I'm going to Shift C again. That'll bring the 3D cursor back to there. Set the origin 3D cursor. I'll, I'll mirror it. Whether or not that would actually look any good uh, in the end is up to you. But just to have it on both sides for now. All right. So this is where we are at. Oh, I'm, there is one more thing I want to do right on here. And so I'm going to do that right now. It's not the nicest thing I've ever modeled, but it's uh, it's there. And uh, if we don't look too clear, carefully at it, I might redo that, but just I wanted to get something in there. Okay, so this is where we are at right now. Let's switch that over and just change a few of these for the moment. And uh, yeah. And this is our our ship so far okay so we made a good start we'll come back and we'll get some more details going on this thing so we'll see you in the next video